Do you want to enhance your success as a business professional? What if I told you there was a fun, easy way to do that that's actually good for you? Click subscribe and hit that bell for more professional development and business strategies. Everyone has hobbies they'd like to spend more time doing, but with our work schedule and families and other commitments that we have, our hobbies are often the first thing that fall to the wayside and get put on the back burner, despite the fact that they actually increase our overall sense of well-being and creativity. Hobbies can enhance your success as a business professional, so make time to embark on those things that you love to do. Hobbies will help you have better work performance. Hobbies improve your physical health. And hobbies, most importantly, help reduce stress and depression. So how do hobbies do that? Let me tell you. First off, many kinds of hobbies can help cross-train your mind. Yeah, you heard me right. So workouts, if you go to the gym, you know you can't lift weights every single day, seven days a week. They always suggest that you have like one day on and then one day off so you allow your muscles to rest. Well, it's pretty much the same thing with our minds. You need to be doing work, 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 but then you need to do fun, creative things that allow you to take a rest from the constant focus of your work. So, and allowing yourself to do that actually gives you a wider perspective over time and really allows you to just think better. So uh, you want to break up the monotony of your work by cross-training your brain. Learn new skills. Uh, Take a poetry reading, writing class. Uh, Learn to do cross puzzles and Sudoku if you don't do them already. Uh, Take a cooking class. Any type of thing that's fun for you and is a hobby but is having your brain in work mode in the sense that it's learning something new actually will help you in your business because it'll help you think more deliberately. It helps you think more creatively. So that business problem that maybe you've been stuck with for a while and you can't quite figure out how you want to overcome that, Taking that creative hobby and that learning something new may all of a sudden in the middle of like cooking your flambe for a first time, you're going to have that aha moment of what you need to do back in your business. And a lot of people ignore that, that the two really are hand in hand and you kind of need both of them in your life to grow both mentally and physically. Which brings me to number two, innovation. In this much prized world where everybody's kind of always focusing on what's the next new best thing, being innovative is what truly makes you competitive. It gives you that competitive edge. And hobbies really help spark new ways of thinking. I heard a story once about uh, a potato chip company and they were looking for a way to make their potato chips less fattening, less greasy. And one of the guys that worked in the potato chip factory actually was a musician. And he got thinking about how when you're really rocking it out and playing music, how the speakers vibrate and how that vibrates on your inner ear when you're really jamming and enjoying that music and that gave him the idea of shaking the chips along a conveyor belt and it shook off excess grease and fat from the chips making them less fattening. 
Uh, and he would not have come up with that idea if he didn't have the hobby of playing music. That's just one crazy example um, of how your outside hobbies can help you be innovative within your business. And number three, hobbies create professional options. What does that mean? It means that your main career may be something that you do love, uh, whether you're a nurse or a school teacher helping teach the next generation, but your side hustle or your hobby is what can really help bring in extra income for your family. Uh, that's how many people are getting by today. Most people who are doing well and who are financially stable have more than one stream of income. And those extra streams of income usually came from their hobbies. So I was sharing in a live in my Facebook group that, uh, you know, I'm in network and affiliate marketing. Most people know that. But my hobby is refinishing furniture. I do that for myself, but I also make a little extra money on the side doing that for family and friends when they have a piece of furniture they want refinished. I love to craft. I make all sorts of little cute banners and signs and stuff like that. That's just a hobby for me. But after I've made a whole bunch of them, well, they're starting to clutter up my house. So what do I do? I sell them to people. It's an extra form of income for my family that I wouldn't have if I didn't have a hobby. And it just gives you options for career pivots. Uh, say you uh, work in an office of some sort, but you have a hobby of doing photography on the side and you're, you're good at it and you love to take pictures and then all of a sudden your company downsizes. That's unfortunate, but you already have a way to make money or a way to pivot into a new career with your photography hobby. Uh, so don't think that hobbies are not important in your overall life. And number four, hobbies expand your professional network. This is probably one of my favorite parts of all is hobbies literally help you meet new people. Uh, when you were taking that cooking class, there were other people in the class, get to know them, make friends with them. They could be potential customers and clients. Um, having the hobby with other people like that also helps you build a deeper relationship with them because you share that hobby in common. And we all know that your best customers and clients are the people that you've built relationships with because they already have that know, like, and trust factor with you. It also creates powerful and unexpected benefits for your career by having these outside hobbies where you're meeting new people. Uh, maybe you're playing tennis with someone and as you're whacking the ball back and forth over the net and you're just talking about who knows what, it could spark an idea that could really help you grow in your business. Uh, because when you're having fun with someone during genuine shared interests, you'd be surprised at how many ideas just come out of that. So in a busy world, we often don't make time for our hobbies, but prioritizing our hobbies isn't self-indulgent. Get that out of your head right now. It is not self-indulgent. But participating in your hobbies more regularly and intentionally can be the key to your business productivity and success. So I hope this encourages you to get out there today and dive into your hobbies. They are good for you. They are good for business. So... I would love to share one of my hobbies with you, and that is sharing with the world great, amazing trainings that are going to help level you up in your business. And right now, my mentor, Mark Harbert, is 
doing a fearless video challenge. And if you would like to get in on that, I'm going to put the link in the description below. Come on and join us. You're going to learn all the important things about how to really make amazing videos. And I'm happy to share all of that with you because that's one of my loves and one of my hobbies is just sharing with other people. So check it out in the description below. Grab your seat inside the Fearless Video 2.0 and we will see you in the next video. Reemerge and rise my warrior because warriors do it better.